For anyone brave enough, riding your bike over the winter can really set you up for a fantastic spring and summer of cycling. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to explain what you need to do so that you're at peak fitness in time for next year. There's no getting away from it. Cycling during the off season isn't easy. It's cold, wet, you're probably riding a heavy bike and all the extra clothing makes you feel uncomfortable. But it's precisely for these reasons that come the spring, you'll be riding that much faster and stronger. For the sake of argument, I'm going to say that the winter off season starts in October and runs through to the beginning of March. Over this five month period, many cyclists aim to have ridden around 2,500 kilometers or 1,500 miles. This breaks down to around 500 kilometers or 300 miles a month. These base rides are generally slower and easier than the summer ones. Ideally, they should be ridden at around 60 to 65% of your maximum heart rate, which is slap bang in the middle of the so-called fat burning zone. Try to avoid using the big chain ring. These rides should be in low gears using an average cadence of 90 to 100 revs per minute. Spinning the pedals will not only help you burn fat, but it will also build up your cardiovascular fitness. A good schedule to have is around four rides a week, three short and one long. What exactly is a short or long ride? Well, that depends entirely on you. For me personally, I try to go out for about an hour each time during the week and then a couple of hours on the weekend. The trick though is to ride as regularly as possible. It's much better to do a short ride every day than a couple of longer rides from time to time. If possible, also try to gradually increase the time and distance of your rides as the winter off season progresses. Before you realise it, you'll have reached your base ride target. For the last month, you may also want to increase the intensity and speed of each ride to build stamina in time for the coming summer season. Try to avoid total layoffs on the bike as fitness reduces scarily fast. For example, Two weeks off the bike will result in a loss of half of any fitness that you had. Sometimes though, a break is inevitable. When it happens, try not to worry too much about it and just get back on the bike and start again. Fortunately, fitness does come back. Because rides are slower and easier, winter cycling is a good opportunity to be social. Riding with others is great motivation and if you aren't already, I'd recommend joining a club. The highlight for many club riders in the winter is the cafe or even the pub stop for um, refreshments. Of course, there will also be times when the weather is so severe that actually riding is just not an option. If you have a turbo trainer, this would be the perfect time to use it. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.